Hey guys, it's Island Orchid. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a while, and I got my hair cut. Anyway, my camera broke. Couldn't use it because it was at the shop for three weeks. Anyway, on to today's topic. Periods. A lot of people my age should know about them. And if you're from my school, You've learned it from the best guy ever. He's called Yurka. Alright. I have some notes here from my personal experience with these. Honestly, periods are painful. So, basically what a period is, is it's a failed pregnancy. Because blood leaks out of your body if you're female, because you were not pregnant that month. Basically, baby is liquefied leaking out of you. Symptoms for periods are things like cramps. They really hurt. I know this from friends and well, my stomach hurts sometimes too from that. And there's also, gotta look at my notes. Irritability. Yes, we get moody when liquid baby leaks. Almost all girls get moody on it. Can't stop it, can't fix it. Um, cravings. Cravings can happen too. Well, depends on what kind of cycle you have. You don't always get cramps. Like, I didn't start out getting cramps. And cravings. Not all girls get cravings. But, like, I know during that time of the month, I definitely want things like orange juice and gummy bears. It's just depending on who you are. For the guys out there, still need to learn this for your girlfriend or your mama. Know what they're going through. Ah, uh, now on to the products that will help this thing. Pads. They come with wings or without wings. They're sticky on the back, because it's supposed to sit in your underwear. This will catch the blood. Personal experience with pads. They work better than tampons, in my opinion. Because if there's a blood clot coming out of you, tampon ain't going to catch it. Pad, pad will get it. Pads on your period will fix your problems. Tampons, ha ha ha. They can be friendly, but don't leave the applicator in. Don't do that. But there are tampons that come without an applicator. You just use your finger and push them up in there. Um... Tampons can have different kinds of applicators. The ones I have found work best are plastic ones. Don't leave the applicator in your body. It's not good for you. There are four different kinds of sizes for tampons. There's light. Don't use the light ones if you have a heavy flow. There's regular. Typical flow. Super, getting a little heavier on the flows here, then Super Plus. Do not use a Super Plus tampon if you are having an extremely light day. Because that can cause toxic shock syndrome. It is a rare disease, but it still can happen. And... 
Tampons are your friend if you want to go swimming while you're on your period. They are extremely useful for that. I don't like them, so I just refuse to swim during that one week of torture. But they're going to feel funny the first time you use one. And if it hurts with your tampon in, there's definitely a problem. You probably put it in wrong. If you put it in tampon correctly, you shouldn't be able to feel it. You should really change your lady products in between the time range of two to eight hours. For a pad, I would go f probably four to six hours and then change it. Tampons, you can go up to about six to eight hours. Just be careful that you don't forget to change it. Keep your hygiene up. And keep yourself clean. And don't be too stressed. Because that can make your periods irregular. And that's not something anybody really wants. Anyway. This is going to be a new experience for children and teens. Because... This can occur to you between the ages of 9 to 16. If you don't have your period by the time you're able to drive, which in some states I know is 14, but still. If you don't have it by the time you're 16 or 17, you might want to consider going to see the doctor. And regular spacing between the day you get your period and the next time you have your period should be about 21 to 28 days. But for teens, it can be 21 to 45 days. For adult women, it's supposed to be about 25 to 31 days between periods. Now, ladies, listen up. If you get two periods in a month, Check the calendar, because if you get one on one day, and then two weeks later you get another one, it all depends on what time of the month it is, because if you got your period here, and then two weeks later you get your period here, That's pretty close to the end of the month. It might just be a period that's meant for the next month. This has also been an experience for me. For your cramping. Pain meds like ibuprofen, acetaminophen. That's painkillers. Those help with your cramps. It also helps to put heat where it the cramps are like you could use a corn bag heating pad or just something hot or you could just jump in the shower or have a bubble bath it all depends on what works for you the young ones out there that are just getting their periods or are in the stage of this getting close to it Please, please, please just listen to me on this. Use pads. They're a whole lot easier to use. And they're way less painful. Just use a pad. They're a whole lot easier. If you don't have products with you, don't be afraid to ask your friends. And if nobody has them, your school nurse can have them if you get it at school. Or you could just use toilet paper. It works. All right. I'm done with my video. Hope you got educated. Bye, divas.